and stop, right? So if we freeze now, and Miss Mina's going to choose people to come out and do some thought tracking, so you need to touch one of the victims and think about... To pupils at Green End Primary School in Manchester, talk activities have become a regular part of their literacy lessons. Over the past two years, the pupils have made significant progress in literacy, with an improvement of 21% at Level 4 in their SATs results. I started at the school in April 2007, and the school had been in special measures for 18 months, and, um, and it was felt that, that it wasn't making the progress it should do. So obviously my mission when I started was to get the school out of special measures, and one of those indicators that was needed was a raising of standards, particularly literacy standards. With over 50% of pupils with English as an additional language, the introduction of strategies focusing on pupil talk have been successful in raising literacy standards in both EAL and non-EAL pupils. To structure the um, talking writing sessions, we, we decided as a staff that uh, it needed to be a one-off every week because it's a very focused session. It's actually quite tiring for the children. We do the writing on a Friday. The first part of the day is the um, planning of writing and sharing of ideas, talking about senses and emotions, planning the writing together with the teacher and perhaps the teacher maybe modelling part of the writing. Then the children have a break where they go away and they have playtime, come back all fresh, the lights are dimmed and the children just write. The whole philosophy about our ideas for the writing at Green End is talking for writing and it's almost like um, we're saying if a child can say it, then they can write it. And that is done through a whole host of oracy-based activities. OK, girls, what's the next one? You put, egg, you put milk and sugar. Well, think about it. OK, you've got your kettle and that's... What do you do? What do you do with the kettle? You put it on. Oh, you get it on. No, you put you on it. Get it on. Switch it on. Then you switch on kettle. Fantastic. Good girls. I think that um, when we looked at our, EA our EAL pupils, there were two things that were of concern to us. The first thing was that they weren't very confident in speaking in class. And the second thing was that their writing seemed to reach um, a point where they were getting really stuck around the sort of level three mark. And they didn't seem to be able to move a lot, of, not all of them at all, but some of them didn't seem to be able to move it into that next level because there were some fundamental difficulties they were having around structure and around grammar. She lives on a dirty and uh -huh. rubbish right. place. I live to a dirty island. Dirty island. Right, let's make that into a simile. She lives in a dirty rubbish island that smells like... Marion's been living in England um, for just under a year um, and she speaks Dutch and Urdu at home. So she's been learning English in school and she's made a massive, massive improvement in her knowledge of English. Um, her, obviously, I think children learn by hearing, so they will speak the language first before they can even attempt to write it. So all the speaking that we do, all the model speaking that the children do with Mariam is really, really good for her because they can show her what English sounds like, that she at least has that to hang on to when she comes to write. The oracy is the tool, so whatever we're doing, whether it's drama, um, it might be talking partners, everybody can access that because you can have mixed ability talking partners. It really helps um, working with partners because you can discuss it. The drama, all children, you know, shine at that, whether they're SEN, EL, because children love those kind of practical activities. The school ethos of talking before writing begins in year one, where the children are experimenting with drama techniques to get to grips with stories such as the Billy Goat's Gruff. We know all about his appearance, we know what he looks like, so we need to find out a bit more about him so that we can put some really good writing into our character profiles with some hot sitting. I'm going to start off by being the troll. We want to find out about what he's like, about his personality. So, are we ready? I'm going to put my troll on. Why, why we're hungry, we're, uh, the Billy Goat's angry with the billy goat, three billy goats. I was angry with the three billy goats gruff because they were trying to cross my bridge and it was my bridge, not their bridge. 
They couldn't cross my bridge. Right, hands down. Let me take my troll off. <gasps> wow. Ooh. I had to have a big voice then, didn't I? A bit of a cross voice, Dylan, for those billy goats. Oh, goodness me. Right, now it's your turn. I would like you to turn and face your partner. <laughs> and if you are in year one, I, I would like you to oh. stand up. Oh, no. Down, oh. Well done. And I'd like you to put on your troll. In order to measure the success of the talking to writing sessions, the school closely monitors the progress of its EAL and new to English pupils. Our EAL pupils are tracked um, on the whole school tracking system and basically what we have done, we've identified um, the EAL children who haven't actually made the required amount of progress in a year and we tracked them throughout the year and then we measured the amount of progress that those children had made. Those children are actually um, scrutinised and um, their progress is measured every term. And those children who are making less progress uh, have been set very challenging targets and they, their progress is measured every six weeks. We also have um, a range of up-levelling games which we've developed for each genre of writing. And the idea is that children will up-level the sentences in these games depending on the text type, um, within their talking partners, using whiteboards. So I'm trying to improve the, the sentence on the board by putting in time connectors, bossy verbs and numbers. I think the most effective elements of the talk to write strategies um, is the break, one of the most effective elements is the breaking down of the writing into um, four very clear areas for children to improve upon. The vocabulary, the connectives, the openers and the punctuation. And it's almost like we've, we've given them the answer. This is what we need to do to actually improve our writing and we're going to use a whole range of different things to actually get there. The school also has a strong cross-curricular approach. In Year 3-4, pupils are learning to write instructional texts with the help of practical experiments. Next, um, put three, three or four drops of the second in the bottle. And the reason why we decided to design um, and make the plastic bottle tornado, um, some of the children guided reading, we've actually been looking at instructional texts there as well. And they actually found um, the instructions for the bottle tornado and um, they, they said they really wanted to make it. So it's basically been led by the children. I think it's important for them to actually do and to actually have made it. Now they've actually gone through the whole process and they've been able to test out, um, make following instructions and now they're able to look and see, actually, can I, can I include boss verbs? Can I use adverbs? I feel that the use of talk partners has been embedded throughout the whole school and as a result you have children coming up to year three who have used talk partners before and they're very confident about it. And it means that they're able to rehearse through that whole thing of dialogue and discussing things before they put pen to paper. They're able to share ideas, test ideas out, consolidate them so that then when they actually get to the writing process it's not a big scary thing anymore. And down here you don't do our full instructions, you, do, you just um, need to write what you need to do but in your big writing book you're going to write proper instructions and include lots of object adverbs and bossy verbs. The idea behind um, the quiet writing is They've already had the session that is oracy enriched, so they've got the ideas in their head, they've practiced using different types of vocabulary, they've practiced using different types of connectives. When they're coming after playtime, they should have all those skills and you know all the ideas in their head. So the idea is that they just get down and they just write and the music helps them concentrate. Um, when they're actually writing, although it's a quiet writing session, I will target specific EL children and what's really good about that is um, while they're writing if there's something that doesn't make sense grammatically I can actually have a dialogue with them there and then about that sentence. We have sometimes a number of newly arrived children from a different country, new to English children, they don't have any English at all um, and the important thing with those children is not to bunch them with the SEN children because 
the actual thing we're looking at is not learning, it's language. And so they can access these activities by, with the speaking and listening, just by listening and absorbing the language, they're actually taking a lot in. And when they're ready, they will feel comfortable enough to speak alongside, you know, the peers. And with Ali, who's actually newly arrived, he speaks German and Arabic. Um, the class was doing instructions, so instead of him writing instructions, he actually sequenced a pair of instructions and he was able to tell me by using the pictures in, in German, basically, what was happening at each stage. And then I, alongside him, was actually reinforcing the main words. Do you remember what this is? Mix. Mix, good boy. Yeah, you're waiting for time. It's, it's too hot. It's too hot. Take back out, good boy. The pupils that have been here for, say, more than a year, but they came as a new arrival, they're beginning to write independent sentences and stories, and that's all because of the language-enriched lessons that they had, listening to the language, speaking the language, the language was being modelled to them by the teachers, by peers, they were absorbing it, and they were able to make meaning by getting it down on paper, really. Another key strategy embedded in weekly big writing sessions at Green End is self-assessment. So, our success criteria for today... Remember, look at our learning outcome. Clear and concise instruction. So quickly, tell me, what things are we, do we need to include then? We identified that really peer group acknowledgement is much more powerful than, than us saying, well done, here's a sticker. Um, and so we are encouraging the children um, within the big writing session to um, cross-check their own work and other children's work. So we've introduced something called um, Green for Growth which is an area for development, and tickled pink, and that basically means, oh, I think I've actually achieved this objective, so I'm going to colour it pink. And again, it's, it's been quite powerful in actually helping them move on. We can make sure that um, we've used everything what we're supposed to be doing. And to, to be a level three, we need to use all our punctuation in the level three. Like, we could use commas um, or full stops and capital letters. The exercise really helped me with my instructions because it made me more faster at my writing. We've seen a, a really big um, leap in progress within the writing in school. It's much more in line with national average now. Uh, it wasn't um, a couple of years ago, so we've, we're really seeing a lot of progress. And just a real um, pride amongst the children about the quality of their work. What the Talk for Writing has done is, has given the EAL pupils a stronger voice in class and built up gradually their confidence to take part in the lessons because I think that until they were able to access the lessons orally, you weren't going to see an Im impact on their written standards. Mm -hmm.